The writing team is moving to the lab, which means I've got to set up my new office. And while I've never been one for trophy hunting and decorating, I've hunted down such a rare species that I simply couldn't resist. The sign of my now defunct former employer, NCIX. Now diehard viewers of the channel will know I'm something of an NCIX collector. I bid on their YouTube play button, I've been trying to get their old domain and YouTube channel, and I even dug around in the trash to fish out their old video host. So what better way to demonstrate my love of NCIX memorabilia than to make the inside of my new office look like the outside of a crappy shopping plaza? I can think of one. I mean, this is Linus Tech Tips. And this is an NCIX sign. How could I not put my PC in here? But it's not going to be easy. I have to get all of these components in here with adequate cooling. The sign obviously still has to light up. It's gonna have to mount on the wall because it's a sign and it's only this thick. Thick, like this thick segue to our sponsor, Zoho One. With Zoho One, there's no worrying about using multiple platforms and pieces of software to manage your business. Zoho One provides you with a single unified platform that's both comprehensive and easy to use. Start your 30 day free trial using the link down below. So, uh, here's the plan. No, there is no plan. Throw away the prompter. We're off the rails from here on out, let's go! Now, as far as I can tell, the N is the only letter that's really big enough to fit even an ITX motherboard. So uh, the rough plan is to go, wait, no, that's not right. Oh, motherboard's gotta go in the X for extreme. That's not actually what it stood for. It just didn't stand for anything. Netlink Computer Incorporated. I think our best bet is gonna to be to just find the biggest components and start with that. Where could these things possibly fit? The eye's gotta be the radiator. But motherboard, we could maybe go X. Yeah, we could go X as long as we go top or bottom mounted IO. Already the lack of planning is showing. I'm sitting here going, yeah, the X is probably best because that would be the one that's closest to where my desk is. Where is my desk going? I don't remember even the shape of the office. First, I need to figure out where I'm putting my GPU. And this one, <laughs> it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Now I know what you're thinking, Linus, you don't need such a gigantic powerful GPU in an office PC. And you're right, but come on. What better choice for the defunct business sign PC than a card from the defunct GPU division of EVGA? Might have some new ideas, I think you're gonna move. Uh, ooh, that could work. That's fine, you can just go over there, right? I think the power supply is gonna be a real problem here. Uh, yep, that's not gonna fit at all. Let's explore some other options. Oh, right. We're also moving logistics over to the lab. There are no power supplies here. <laughs> Let's go on a little adventure. Whee! Okay, and we're here. Okay, 500 watt. 500 watt. Ooh, I see a Silverstone beefy one right there. Do we have Silverstone compatible long cable? Okay. It occurs to me I should come up here too and figure out where the devil on the wall is gonna go. You even have walls. It doesn't have walls? You only have this wall. Yeah, I don't even think this is like a real wall though. This is like just a modular like panel thing. Shoot, Tanner! Yes. How did we not think of this? There's no walls. Because then we wouldn't be able to think of it now. But yeah. We're gonna make this one work. We're gonna just cable manage network and power along here, up this wall, and to the PC. The desk will go here. These will be perpetually down so I won't have to worry about reflections. And I'm just gonna have to have a small desk. Is this even gonna fit? We better get this cracked open. Did you know this? Is it too thick for SFX? Well, the idea was that we're gonna put a back on it just to keep all of the letters together anyway. So if we raised it in a little bit to actually allow us to put some cables behind there and not have them sticking out of every letter, we might as well have a little bit of extra room for the power supply as well. Feels like cheating though, doesn't it? I think it's gotta fit in the sign. Well, the other option is the 12 volt power supplies like what's currently in your desk. Oh, and I won't need my desk PC anymore. Good job on the LED lighting, uh, whoever made this. Got some VHB tape. Oh, it stinks. <coughs> yep, that's the smell of the rest of them. 
Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's almost like uh, it's been sitting outside for long periods of time, possibly mounted to a building. All these LEDs are gonna have to go. Oh no, crusty VHB tape. Twist is definitely the strat. There we go. We'll be putting our own lighting strips in here. Blah. Clean. Ish. Does it fit? And the power supply doesn't fit. That means we're basically going to have to go DC to DC power supply. These looked a lot bigger from the outside than they are on the inside. I was thinking radiator and fans, no problem. Radiator, barely. I know the plan was pump in the sea, but what did you have in mind for a reservoir? Oh, that is a good question. Fortunately, we have a plan to figure all of this out. See this big piece of cardboard? We're gonna take all these letters and we're gonna put them on here and place all the parts. Motherboard, GPU, somewhat aligned with the PCIe slot. So the idea is we're gonna have a riser that wraps around here and plugs into the GPU. Ooh, boy, is that ever gonna be tight. Oh yeah, he's gotta get the power cables in here. How the hell did we think this was gonna work, Tanner? I don't know, Linus. How did we think this was gonna work when you pitched it and said, we need to have something in every letter? I, I did say that. We go two rads. We have one as an intake and one as an exhaust in the end. So there's a little bit of room for air to flow. Wait, no. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't get fans in it. Okay, we need skinnier rads, maybe slim fans even. Okay. Wait, where's it even gonna take in air from? Are we gonna have like, like, like posts or something like that that hold the backing off the wall and maybe we could count on the back for some airflow? Yeah, I was really hoping that we'd be able to, uh, with the backing, have enough room to, I don't know, mount a, a couple small fans up top below, I don't. You're making this up as you go. That's this entire project, yes. The good news is I think I found us a reservoir. Okay. This classic from Swift Tech could be just perfect. This is a bad situation. We did find a power supply. This is an 850 watt, one U power supply from FSP that I was going to use for a rack mount gaming PC at my house, but now is gonna live in here. But the problem, is that it's not really designed to run an RTX 3090 and it doesn't have enough PCI Express power connectors and I can't find any splitters or adapters that are gonna get us there. Wait, this has a PCIe pinout but doesn't appear to actually plug into a PCIe connector. What is up with this power supply? Here's your eight pin EPS connector, okay? Here's your six plus two PCIe. Here's another six plus two PCIe, except it's split into four and four, even though you can see the color coding is correct on the wires, but it doesn't plug into this. I think this is just a dumbass manufacturing defect. Okay, I looked at the manual, the data sheet for this. It's supposed to be two six plus twos. Yeah, let's see if they're all defective. We have five of these. Oh, come on. They're all ah, defective? No, no, this one's fine. Oh, oh, no, this one's Okay, oh, we got a oh, stupid. Yeah, these are dual 140. Yeah, yeah okay. that's not what we want. Yeah. Now, what we've got right now is one of these. I think we can, there might be another one of those around if I were to really, really, really dig, but I could not find a second one. I think today is a proof of concept day. Oh, absolutely. So let's go with this. Just one is fine. We can put two rads in the finished build. We are about to have a classic do as I say, not as I do moment here. We've got a daisy chained dual eight pin connector coming off of our power supply. I'm taking that first one, splitting it into two eight pin connectors, and then the second one and using that for my third eight pin connector on this 3090. This is a very temporary installation, okay? Jeez, this is gonna be freaking tight in here. I'm gonna have to mash this down or something. This is pretty low profile, actually. This is gonna help save us some space. We're just gonna do a slot in here, and then we'll run this right through the back of the eye into the box at the back. Oh yeah, perfect. It's notable that even if these are Gen 4 risers, which I don't know, maybe they are, maybe they aren't, we wouldn't be daisy chaining them and getting Gen 4 speeds, so we're gonna have to turn our motherboard down to Gen 3 speeds, which is fine for a 3090 anyway. Obviously, this riser is gonna have to come up inside the X. So it's gonna have to sit kind of right there and like come up here and kind of bend real tight here. Wow, that's gonna be really challenging, Tanner. Yeah, yeah, it can't be that bad, right? It just kind of go like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're good, you're good. Most of our cable extensions are missing in the move right now, but we did find a couple of short 24 pin extensions. Um, but nope. Haha. -ha. but I have a second. 
I don't think I'm gonna get, oh, oh, nice. No, it's gonna reach. Yes. Uh, ooh, almost. Yes, good. It doesn't look like it, but we are actually getting dangerously close to test time. I've just gotta put this Sabrent two terabyte drive in here. At least that's what I thought I was gonna do. I took off the heat spreader on this motherboard and there was already an SSD in it. Ooh, some of the custom DDR9 9000 CL69 memory that Micron did up for me. Next up, we've got the CPU water block. I mean, come on, did you think I was gonna go air cooling? This is using EK's exact mount and, oh crap, Tanner, I think we have another problem. What's our problem? We're gonna have tubes coming out of here. I think it's gonna be too tall as well. Do we not have the ability for right angle fittings? Ooh, there's a lot of things interfering with this right now. Maybe a measuring tape would be in order before we started. <laughs> we only have six centimeters to work with, which would put us like basically right here. Pretty clear that this is not going to work. Tanner, did you factor in the height of the GPU block? Let's get the GPU block out. I don't know if any of this is gonna work, man. I don't think the GPU is going to fit in the eye. My thought with doing this was that we could take off this front area here. That's fine, but the issue is that we've got the PCIe connector over here that's hanging off the edge of the eye, and we already don't have enough margin here to slide the eye on top. I have grossly miscalculated. If we don't use the foam as a stabilizer for the backing, it might just fit. I think we're still on business. We still need to figure out this. We're not licked yet. They have one U water blocks and we're gonna run the tubes like over here between the PCIe riser and the RAM. So all we gotta figure out now is a pump. And this is not gonna be it. This is a DDC X top from EK. We actually need a bone stock DDC, which has the inlet and the outlet on the side and is much lower profile because this is clearly not gonna fit. Oh man, you know what? Even if we can't get our hands on like a 1U block or something that'll fit, we could just adapt one of these old GPU blocks. Boom, low profile, done. This will be a good enough placeholder for today. The point is to just figure out if this is gonna work and we can create custom mounting brackets and adapters and all that kind of stuff over the next few weeks. Man, you can tell we're in the middle of a move right now. Not because I showed you we're in the middle of a move, but because clearly this um, video is a little bit. <clears throat> oh, here's how we're gonna do the res. Ooh, this thing is cracked. If I could find something newer and skinny, that would definitely be good. Here we go. I just need this right angle. Crap. Even this one? Really? We're gonna have to find a lower profile fitting. What about the fans at least? These slim 120s should be enough to handle this as long as we've got two of these radiators in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a little something like that. Well, here's some additional fans to be placeholders for where that other radiator is gonna go. Oh, Tanner. Yes. The radiators will just have holes and they'll punch through into the box that the sign is gonna be mounted on. So they'll just go straight into the back. Yes. Easy. They don't even need right angle fittings. Nice. Okay, this is what I was worried about. With the clearance for a PCIe extension, okay, that puts us about here. And then the clearance we need for the top of the block with the fittings, there's no way we're gonna fit this EVGA 3090. The most frustrating thing is there's so much empty space on this PCB. Did it really need to be this big EVGA? You've literally got holes in it. Fortunately, this pre-water cooled card from ASUS has no such problem. If we run the fittings into the box that's gonna be at the back, I don't think there are any clearance issues here at all. This is awesome. And we're down to just two eight pin power connectors, meaning that we don't have to have that really sketchy adapter. I think we are getting dangerously close to test time. Oh, you might've noticed we swapped out the reservoir. The other one leaked. Not where I showed you the cracks, but in one of the other fittings. For lighting, these strips from Elgato, not perfect, but they're easy to control and they're definitely good enough for our test here. And plug, one, two, not bad. I really don't know how well the RGB effect is gonna shine through a blue, you know, thing, but I guess we can find out. Uh, hmm. We are definitely gonna have to do something to get more even lighting above where components are. Like there's a big dark spot where the motherboard is. Some of the other letters might not be as challenging though. Like I think the eye is gonna be okay. You can't even really see it. 
Ah, uh, you can see it a bit. Ugh. This might be about the best we can do for the sea for now. <laughs> Oi! Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! No one mocks up quite like LTT. Power it on. X for extreme performance. Oh, dang it. That's the whole reason I took the X off, so I could put this in. Oh, now I need to start the computer. Okay, what are the odds this just fires up, hmm? Hey, there we go. This is great. Okay, not great. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but this was an important exercise to figure out all the little things that might have blindsided us later when we do the final build. And I think we've solved all of them. Did this just reboot? Not a great sign. Haha, <laughs> get it? Hey, there we go. I think to make our lives easier for lighting, we should use white components wherever possible. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good plan. If we can find white fans for these radiators, for example, I think that'll really help with light kind of bouncing around and make it easier to light them up evenly. Okay, apparently we're gonna run 4K Nightmare. If I'm being honest, ergonomics not great. Performance, on the other hand, outstanding. GPUs at 52 degrees, CPUs at 73 degrees. I think with the box in the back and enough airflow to the radiators, this is gonna be freaking awesome. Oh, when I died. I died before I got a chance to tell you about our sponsor. Thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. Whether you're writing a script for a YouTube video or emailing a coworker to make sure a project is moving along, ensuring you have proper communication and tone is key. That's why we recommend checking out Grammarly Premium's tone rewrite suggestion feature. Sven on the business team uses this feature daily as it helps him ensure his writing is coming across as clear and confident. And when he has to communicate hard deadlines to his clients, Grammarly has his back with their confident tone suggestions. Getting started is super easy. All you have to do is install the desktop app, log in and start typing. Go to grammarly.com slash LTT to sign up for an account and enhance your writing and tone by upgrading to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. If you guys enjoyed this, you probably have a pretty healthy appetite for jank. Maybe you would also enjoy our cardboard box case challenge where we tried to build the best gaming cases we could strictly out of cardboard. It actually worked out surprisingly well.